The PX1 offers a number of advanced features that allow you to control multiple HID fixtures with amazing precision. These features include control of up to 512 compatible Phantom DE ballasts, centralized dual zone control of a total of 256 Phantom DE ballasts per zone, or 512 in total, true digital control with RS-485 differential digital signaling, built-in digital timer, lighting control, sunrise and sunset, variable intensity, adjustable temperature-based dimming, high temperature emergency shutdown feature, adjustable restrike delay time, and large four-line display. When the box is opened, you'll find the PX1 controller in the main compartment on top. Take it out and set it aside in order to lift up the divider and access the components below. These are AC power adapter, two temperature sensor probes, packet of screws and wall anchors for wall mounting, and instructions. The PX1 should be wall mounted. This is easy to do using its removable back plate, which has four holes that can be used for mounting. The top center hole is a keyhole style hole that can be used with a single large screw so that the plate is hung on the screw head. For a more secure alternative, there are also three smaller holes in the plate that can be used to screw it tightly to a wall surface. Once the back plate is secured to the wall surface, the PX1 unit can be snapped onto the back plate. Once the PX1 is securely mounted to the wall, plug the included AC adapter into a power outlet and connect the other end to the PX1's AC input jack on the bottom panel. Then plug the temperature probes into the corresponding jacks on the bottom panel and run your probe cables their full length up to and across the ceiling if possible, toward the center of the grow space. Ideally, suspend the probes down into the space above the plant canopy if possible. Take care not to stress or damage the probe cables when securing them to walls and ceilings. When setting up the temperature probes, shield them from exposure to direct light from your fixtures. Doing this can be as simple as setting up a small shade made from an upside-down plastic or paper cup or a small piece of paper, plastic, or cardboard. The reason it is important to do this is that if the bare probe is exposed to direct HID light, it can cause premature dimming or inaccurate temperature readings. If desired, you can use the convenient print and cut probe shield provided under the product info tab on the PX1 page at hydrofarm.com. Programming the PX1 with your own custom settings is easy using the simple five button navigation panel and generous four line display. The included instructions take you step by step through each page of control settings and explain each in detail. To connect multiple ballasts to the PX1, use the RJ12 to RJ12 cable splitter, and RJ12 to USB adapter cable that are included with every compatible Phantom ballast. Start with the ballast positioned closest to the PX1. Plug one end of the first RJ12 to RJ12 cable into the jack marked LAMP for Zone A on the PX1's bottom panel. Plug the other end into the single jack side of the splitter. Then insert the RJ12 plug of the RJ12 to USB adapter cable into one of the two jacks in the double jack side of the splitter. Finally, insert the USB plug of that adapter cable into the USB jack on the ballast. Continue the pattern by plugging one end of the next RJ12 to RJ12 cable into the other jack in the double jack side of the splitter and the other end into a new splitter, repeating the connection pattern just described. In doing this, you will be creating a segmented RJ12 trunk line from which the adapter cables for each subsequent ballast will come. The same method is used to connect ballasts in the Zone B ballast group. Using the sunrise and sunset settings, gradually ramp up and ramp down ballast power to simulate natural conditions. You can choose between 5, 10, 15, 20, or 30 minute duration. Protect your crop with temperature-based intensity, which allows programmed set points for ballast dimming based on grow room temperature. Brand X uses analog voltage, while the PX1 features true digital control, utilizing RS-485 differential digital signaling. Brand X can operate 40 ballasts per zone for a total of 80, while the PX1 can operate 256 ballasts per zone for a total of 512. In order to control the same maximum number of ballasts as the PX1, Brand X requires the purchase of three extra pieces of equipment at a total cost that is triple the PX1's suggested retail price. The PX1 also offers a restrike delay feature. 
This feature prevents hot restrikes, which can be damaging to your valuable ballasts. Occasionally, a momentary drop or cut in power can occur, and in many cases the power is restored after only a few seconds to around a minute. Attempting to restart or restrike the lamps while they are still hot from the prior operation can put stress on the output components of the ballast. This is because HID lamps must be started when they are cool enough that the gases inside can be reignited. The restrike delay period is configurable and starts counting down when the power goes out, not when the power is restored. If the power has been out longer than the restrike delay setting, the lights will come on immediately when power is restored. Ballast power output settings made on the page where these are set are sticky, meaning that any changes made to them are saved internally by default and will return again on power-up. There is no need to press the Save button to retain them. On the Date and Time settings page, Zone A settings page, and Zone B settings page, however, you must press the Save button in order to save the settings you make there into memory. The Autopilot PX1 digital lighting controller is easy to set up, compact and lightweight. It is a true digital ballast interface that makes multiple ballast control easy and affordable to achieve for growers at all levels who need to control from one light to 512 lights. It is simply more powerful, more reliable, and more capable than competing controllers. The PX1 is a perfect match for the new Phantom Commercial DE ballast with USB interface. Get a PX1 and get exacting control over all of your HID fixtures. The Autopilot PX1. Seriously connected.